Hey my friends, what's going on? Ultimus here. In this video today, I want to go over my top 5 things about the overall leveling experience in Warlords of Jvanar. I've gone through, completed just about all of it, at least up to level 100, and there's a couple zones I haven't touched yet. One being the Frostfire Ridge, because I believe that is the Horde starting zone, and I'm not quite done with Nagrind yet. But so far, I wanted to give my impressions and my overall thoughts and things about the leveling process in Warlords of Draenor. I've had a couple friends asking about it and things like that, so I thought it would be fun to make a video regarding it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. My number 5 slot is one that I'm only going to mention briefly because I did go over it in my last top 5 video in which was my top 5 things I'm looking forward to in patch 6.0.2. Um, but my number 5, only needing one set of gear around and again as all this is now live as you will see over here on like our main stats and things like that. Uh, you'll have Strength, Stamina, Critical Strike, Multi-Strike, and Intellect in Grey, and I know most of you are aware of this by now, but just in case there's a couple of you that aren't, uh, we'll just briefly touch on it. But basically, if I was a Paladin and I swapped over to Holy from Ret or from Prot, then my gear would swap, and I would now have Intellect as my main stat instead of that Strength. The Crit and the Multi-Strike would remain the same, as well as the Stamina, but the main stats would swap. Number 4. The overall environment and the music. Uh, when I first stepped foot through that dark portal and came through and then found my way going through Shadow Moon Valley and then Gorgrond and everything, just the environments were utterly breathtaking. I mean, even just standing outside my garrison here, just the purple and the, the grays and the greens and the blues and how these all just meld together. And even if you look closely, you'll see the grass just like blowing with the breeze and things like that. I can't. I, I just can't get enough of it. I think this is just gorgeous. I mean, the textures on everything is just great between the trees and again, so many of the other zones. Uh, overall, I just, I was completely enamored with them. Um, again, just Gorgrond and just how just different everything was. You have, you know, Shadow Moon Valley where the temple, the uh, Karabor and things of that sort. Uh, but just even Talador. Talador was great and gorgeous. Going through and seeing so many of these old zones that you're familiar with and that you're like, oh, I remember this and I know how this eventually ends up and it's almost depressing but and, and sobering at the same time. But seeing how just gorgeous and everything was so well put together and the architecture here in Draenor is just amazing. It's almost like getting, again, I, well, obviously, I mean, we're going back in time in this expansion, but really it's like having, going through a museum with everything put back together exactly how it was intended to be rather than seeing it in rubble and pieces you're seeing it as it was originally intended and that i just think is absolutely fantastic and so just the overall environment like i didn't want to leave i did a grand total of one dungeon my entire leveling experience because part of that was the the environment the environment was just so gorgeous i didn't want to leave it i didn't want to miss anything and so i thought blizzard did an awesome job putting this world together and just making it a place that was enjoyable to walk through and quest through and explore and things like that Number three on my list of top five things I enjoyed most about leveling through Draenor was the exploring was encouraged. And if you don't believe me, pick up a add-on by the name of Handy Notes, install the plugins in your add-on folder, and look at all of these skulls and pieces of paper and little notes and tusks and things all over your map. And then tell me exploring isn't encouraged. I mean, you get lost just trying to find everything. It's amazing. Um, and you get bonus XP for it. So it's not just like, yeah, you pointless loot and treasure and random things because you know not everything you're going to pick up you're going to be able to use which is totally fine you can disenchant it you can sell it um, but the xp itself was totally worth it between garrison resources awesome loot and things like that you'll find laying around it's so easy to get lost just exploring like i cannot i cannot say enough good things about it and it was just like it, between the loot the rare mobs that would just abound and even the bonus objectives as you can see i, I didn't get quite all of them going through um, but again, just these bonus objectives you would run across that would give you extra XP and, and loot and, and gold and things like that for completing. It was just like, Blizzard was like, please go explore the zones, don't just get caught up in questing. And this was probably the biggest reason I didn't bother with queuing for any dungeons. I just, I didn't need to. I didn't feel the pressure to. I didn't feel enticed to. I didn't see it was necessary because I was having so much fun. Number two on my list of top five things I enjoyed about questing through Draenor was no flying. Most of you are aware of this fact by now, but just in case you're not, as you can see, my dragon does not fly, but it gracefully falls to the ground. This is sad, except for the fact that it's not because you didn't miss anything. 
You didn't. There was nothing to miss. You you were walking through it all. You were exploring it all. You were seeing all the nooks and the crannies, and you were seeing all the crevices in the hills and the walls and all the little treasures that were hidden all throughout Draenor. It was so great. The amount of world PvP I encountered because you were being forced to run and walk by other players, which worked out so nicely with the gladiator sanctum in your garrison, it was just a perfect meshing. I thought. And at first, I thought I would miss flying, and I wasn't one of the people that was kind of like, oh, they took away flying. How dare they? Like, I was optimistic, but I figured I would miss it, but I didn't miss it at all. And that was almost the biggest shock. I got to about level 98 and realized I didn't mind having a ground mount. The only thing that was weird was at first when I started going through the leveling process, I was so used to clicking my hotkey for my flying mount that I was like, why isn't it working? Oh, wait, that's right, no flying. But it just helped envelop me in these zones so much more not being able to fly over everything and just go right to my next point to fly around go to my next point but having to walk and run and things like that and find my way around stuff again it was and that i think too was really neat because the continent itself wasn't very difficult to navigate like i didn't feel like there was a lot of ways to easily get lost it was pretty easy to navigate around i don't know maybe that was just me just not having flying i i don't miss it i mean i'm sure they'll bring it back eventually they've got too many flying mounts in the game to just be done with it entirely but i could i could see myself getting behind keeping flying mounts out of the game or at least flying out of the game for some time now because I'm enjoying just running around on my mount. My ground mount at least again the amount of world PvP is nice enjoying the environments and being put in a situation to where you're actually seeing stuff as you run by it. I'm noticing that you know trees or environments or little buildings or things like that that just bring the the environment to life and make it pop and make it so vibrant are now catching my attention more as opposed to before when I would just fly around stuff it wouldn't necessarily do that. And my number one reason for enjoying content in Warlords of Draenor, and I know a lot of people have said this as well, so this isn't exactly a unique or special number one, but it is the fact that questing didn't feel like a chore. I loved every single one of these quests. I loved the way they were strung out through the zones, um, from the main storyline ones to the side quests and to the bonus objectives. I thought they were strung together so well. I thought they were placed and paced so perfectly. It didn't feel drawn out. It didn't feel pointless. Yeah, it was some of the same, you know, collect this, kill these, bring these back, you know, set up this stuff, do that. But again, I don't, I didn't mind it. And I don't know if that was a mix of the environment and the music. Though, actually, you know what, I should pause and say back with uh, my note on the environment so much. The sub point with that was the music. The music in this expansion has completely captivated me. This is the first expansion that I have played. This is the first one in a long time that I've done that. But anyways, before I distract myself too much on this, the questing and just the way everything was strung together, and it didn't I didn't feel like I was just pointlessly doing stuff. Like I felt like there was a purpose and a reason behind all the things that I was doing, and you were almost rewarded for it in the sense of like every quest line or quest chain really seemed to have a big conclusion. It wasn't just like the quest chain suddenly ended and that was it and you're like oh okay well that's cool i mean i went and got this for you that's nice but i felt like just about every major quest chain had a big conclusion and of course you know we're, most of us are thinking immediately of these you know cinematics that were coming at the end of each zone when you completed the main storyline in each zone like those were just epic i did have a chance to see them before uh, the, the expansion itself launched so they weren't necessarily new content to me but seeing them in context with everything was just so just immersive and enthralling and it, i felt like i was part of the story you know, I know part of that is because it's new content, so you never experienced it before, and that's okay, and that's cool. But I feel like after a while, typically even with new content, when you get to about halfway or closer to the end, you're just like, all right, I'm ready for this to be done. But I never quite hit that stride, or I never quite hit that point with questing here in Draenor. I was like, all right, I'm ready to be max level. I was just kind of taking my time, and I felt like the game encouraged that and rewarded that greatly. And in all honesty, I feel like, yeah, the queue times and the server lag and the unplayability of this game for the first couple days were pretty bad but honestly if this is the content we got and had to wait to get to then you know what i'm all right waiting it was it was worth it i mean i'm sure blizzard will learn from the mistakes and they'll keep it from happening again but overall totally worth it and i think they hit the nail on the head with this one let me know in the comment section what your favorite things about leveling through draenor war did you hate it love it was whatever you just dungeon queued the whole way through 
Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you have a favorite zone? Did you have a favorite quest line? Uh, there were some pretty funny ones out there, I thought. Just uh, honorable mention to the quest in Spires of Iraq with uh, the, the laser pointer and the cat mob. That was the funniest thing I think I've seen in a long time. But yeah, go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comment section if you'd like to contribute. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's going to do it for me on this video. By the time this video goes live, though, we will probably be getting ready to stream. So hopefully you'll be able to swing by the stream on Twitch TV slash Ultimus Wow. Yeah, be able to hang out for a bit in the stream planning and doing a ton of BGs and just trying to catch up on that honor grind because as you can see, I am severely behind on gear. That is just unacceptable. We need to we need to remedy that quite quickly. Quite quickly. But as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>